This is a model of the human spine that I have here in my lap. You can see here that at the bottom is the pelvic bones coming round to the front and your sacrum which is actually part of the spine. This is the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine which the ribs are attached to and the cervical spine which is the neck. Here we have the base of the skull which would sit here and the face at the front. There are some features that you can see on the spine that may be relevant to your operation that you've heard talked about. These spiky bits on the back are called the spinous processors and these are actually the lumps that you can feel that run down your spine. The ones that stick out the side are called the transverse processors. You can't actually feel these as they sit quite deep under a layer of muscle. At the front of the spine you can see two different bits. The hard bony bits which are called the vertebral bodies and the softer bits which are called the discs. You may also have heard of facet joints, which are these little joints that run up the side of the spine here. The yellow bits that you can see poking out of the side of the spine here are the spinal nerve roots. And inside, running up deep in the middle of this canal, is the spinal cord itself. The spinal cord stops about this section of the spine, and after that, it's a set of nerves coming down through the canal called the corda equina. When a spinal surgeon performs a spinal surgery on your spine, they will either usually be trying to make space for the nerves to pass through the spine easier, either at the hole where it exits, which is called the foramina, or inside the canal, which is called the central canal of the spine. A surgeon may also perform a disc surgery where they remove a portion or all of the disc, if that is the case, they will insert a cage, often from the front of the spine, through your tummy. If a surgeon is doing a posterior fusion, they will enter the spine through the back portion here and usually insert screws in this direction at one or more levels with a connecting rod down the side of that. With regards to the shape of the spine, the spine normally has three gentle curves in it. As we age, our spine gradually changes shape and we often lose a little bit of curve in the lower back where it flattens out a little bit. Spines may also have things that you've heard of like a scoliosis or a kyphosis. A scoliosis is a sideways curve of the spine like so. The curve may be gentle like this or more pronounced. Sometimes a sideways curve is combined with what's called a kyphosis which is a forward bend of the spine and ends up in this kind of position. Spinal surgery may aim to correct or restrict these curves from progressing further. As your spine ages, it will also undergo further changes that are often referred to as degenerative changes within the spine. Many of these are entirely normal and related simply to the processes that the spine undergoes as it ages. Very common findings are that the discs themselves usually lose some height and become a little bit more dehydrated. The joints at the back as well may also enlarge and sometimes this contributes to compression of the nerves. An interesting fact about degeneration of the spine is that it doesn't often correlate very well with the amount of pain that a person feels and a person with lots of degeneration of the spine may feel no pain whatsoever whilst a person with a relatively pristine looking spine may have a lot of pain.